Marshal Dadajura. Chapter 201 Protected, he's that Chu Fo? How is he so young? He really went on to the sixth floor. Endless cries of surprise rang out from the crowd because Chu Fong broke a legend and became the first person to step onto the peak of the Azure Ghost Tower in a hundred years. He became the idol of many people. Although the current Chu Fong was still very weak with his talent, he was fated to become an extremely significant character. At that moment, everyone who were there witnessed the birth of a huge character. Because of that, they felt honored and proud. Especially Chu Feng's young and tender appearance let people know that he was very young. So, they felt even more shocked because that proved his impressiveness even more. From the bottom of their hearts, they felt that Chu Feng's future achievements were unlimited. Who? Suddenly, within the vast ocean of humans, a road appeared. Powerful people from the Jia clan, being led by three elders, aggressively walked towards Chu Feng. Behind the three elders were Jia Heng, Jia Gang, and the others. They were the people that were madly beaten up by Chu Feng. Although their auras were covered quite a bit, the wounds that Chu Feng left could still be seen on their bodies. Jia Heng, Jia Gang, was it him that attacked you in the Azure Ghost Tower? An elder from the Jia clan pointed and Chu Feng and asked. Elder, he is Chu Feng who spoke nonsense and didn't put the Jia clan within his eyes. Jia Heng replied and his fierce gaze swept over Chu Feng's body. Apprehend him. The elder from the Jia clan coldly yelled. In the instant after he spoke, several powerful people behind him rushed towards Chu Feng. They were all experts of the profound realm. When the pressure gathered in a single area and pressed forward, it was like an invisible huge mountain and even Chu Feng tightly frowned. Chu Feng, I'll lend you my power. Seeing that the situation was not great, Egi wanted to lend her power to Chu Feng and let Chu Feng break through the surrounding attack. No need. However, Chu Feng chose to decline. Not only did he not avoid or dodge it, he even stood where he was while waiting for the attacks of the Jia clan to arrive. At first, Egi felt surprised about Chu Feng's actions, but she, who shared everything with Chu Feng, quickly understood his intentions. Ah! Suddenly, a golden-colored gale came sweeping by and the several profound realm Jia clan members flipped over as they were blown, like scarecrows, and they were thrown away by the wind. At the same time, three aged figures appeared in front of Chu Feng without any noise. The one who led was elderly of the World Spirit Guild. The one called Li, move. This is a private grudge between my Jia clan and this child. Do not interfere. Seeing that, the expressions of the elders from the Jia clan changed greatly as they pointed at elderly and yelled extremely displeasedly. Nonsense. This place is my World Spirit Guilds, and it isn't your Jia clan turn to act so atrociously. Elder Li's face also turned cold as he waved his big sleeve. Coming from outside of the plaza, several thousand people rushed in and completely surrounded the Jia clan. The one called Li. You have quite the nerves. For an outsider, you arm yourself against my Jia clan. This violates the Treaty of the Alliance and it destroys the peaceful relationship between my Jia clan and your World Spirit Guild. Are you able to carry this responsibility? The Jia clan elder interrogated. Humph, don't think I don't know about your Jia clan's fine deeds in the Azure Ghost Tower. Even if does violate the treaty, your Jia clan aired first. Today, I will place my words right here. Chu Feng is protected by my World Spirit Guild. If any one of you dares to attack Chu Feng, do not blame me for not restraining myself. Elder Li's gaze were like flames and his tone was extremely forceful. Fine, the one called Li. Let's see if you can carry this responsibility. In response, even though the Jia clan were extremely angered, they did not say anything and they only led their army, turned around, and left. After all, that was the territory of the World Spirit Guild and they were indeed in the wrong for that exam. Don't worry. Even if your Jia clan doesn't look for me, my World Spirit Guild will look for you for fairness. Elderly also didn't let him go so easily. 
After the Jia clan left, the curtains of the white cloak exam also fell. However, Chu Feng, who was the focus of this exam, did not leave as he was invited by the World Spirit Guild into a very luxurious palace. A grand feast was already prepared for treating Chu Feng, and the person who received Chu Feng was his peer, Gu Bo. Brother Gu Bo, this, Chu Feng felt a bit overwhelmed as he looked at the sumptuous feast. Not only did the World Spirit Guild help him hold back the troubles from the Jia clan, currently, they were even treating him like that, so he was quite overwhelmed. Brother Chu Feng, no need restrain yourself. You are worthy enough to be treated like this by my World Spirit Guild. Gu Bo smiled at Chu Feng. After hearing that, Chu Feng understood the intentions of the World Spirit Guild. Obviously, they saw his own potential and they wanted to pull Chu Feng into the World Spirit Guild. To Chu Feng, that was a good thing, so he did not push it away. However, at that moment, the exam already finished and everyone who participated in the exam already left the World Spirit Guild. Zhuge Luyun was still waiting outside, and since Chu Feng was afraid that his master would be worried, he said, Brother Gu Bo, my master is still outside of the World Spirit Guild, I want. Chu Feng bro, don't worry. People have already been sent to invite your master and the both of you will reunite soon. Gu Bo smiled then pulled Chu Feng to take a seat. At the same time, outside of the World Spirit Guild, within a city that was specially made for providing rest for outsiders, Zhuge Luyun was standing at the city gate while anxiously waiting. Have you heard of a young man called Chu Feng in this exam? He stepped onto the sixth floor of the Azure Ghost Tower and got a ripe spirit fruit. I've heard of it. I even know that Chu Feng is only 15 years old this year, but already has the cultivation of the first level of the Origin Realm. His battle prowess is even more frightening. According to rumors, even those at the fifth level of the Origin Realm cannot defeat him. That's right. The young generation of the Jia clan were all swept away, and even that Jia Bufan was defeated by Chu Feng's hands. Several of them? He even defeated the Jia clan members? He's a bit too bold, right? With how the Jia clan think, they would certainly not forgive him. You don't understand. Talent like Chu Feng's hasn't appeared for a hundred years, and he is already destined in becoming a genius. The World Spirit Guild has already let out word that they would protect Chu Feng. Right now, he is invited to the World Spirit Guild as a guest, and the Jia clan would not dare to touch him. As Zhuge Luyun was waiting for the arrival of Chu Feng, several white cloak world spiritists next to him were chatting to one another. One mouth after the other were talking about Chu Feng and the heart of Zhuge Luyun, who listened jumped. So, he went up and politely asked, Old brothers, did the Chu Feng that you were talking about come from the Azure province? 630485BFB98C962D6C69 Chapter 201 Protected He's that Chu Feng? How is he so young? He really went on to the sixth floor? Endless cries of surprise rang out from the crowd because Chu Feng broke a legend and became the first person to step onto the peak of the Azure Ghost Tower in a hundred years. He became the idol of many people. Although the current Chu Feng was still very weak, with his talent, he was fated to become an extremely significant character. At that moment, everyone who were there witnessed the birth of a huge character. Because of that, they felt honored and proud. Especially Chu Feng's young and tender appearance let people know that he was very young. So, they felt even more shocked because that proved his impressiveness even more. From the bottom of their hearts, they felt that Chu Feng's future achievements were unlimited. Who? Suddenly, within the vast ocean of humans, a road appeared. Powerful people from the Jia clan, being led by three elders, aggressively walked towards Chu Feng. Behind the three elders were Jia Heng, Jia Gang, and the others. They were the people that were madly beaten up by Chu Feng. Although their auras were covered quite a bit, the wounds that Chu Feng left could still be seen on their bodies. Jia Heng, Jia Gang, was it him that attacked you in the Azure Ghost Tower? An elder from the Jia clan pointed and Chu Feng and asked. 
Elder, he is Chu Feng, who spoke nonsense and didn't put the Jia clan within his eyes. Jia Hing replied and his fierce gaze swept over Chu Feng's body. Apprehend him. The elder from the Jia clan coldly yelled. In the instant after he spoke, several powerful people behind him rushed towards Chu Feng. They were all experts of the profound realm. When the pressure gathered in a single area and pressed forward, it was like an invisible huge mountain and even Chu Feng tightly frowned. Chu Feng, I'll lend you my power. Seeing that the situation was not great, Egi wanted to lend her power to Chu Feng and let Chu Feng break through the surrounding attack. No need. However, Chu Feng chose to decline. Not only did he not avoid or dodge it, he even stood where he was while waiting for the attacks of the Jia clan to arrive. At first, Egi felt surprised about Chu Feng's actions, but she, who shared everything with Chu Feng, quickly understood his intentions. Ah! Suddenly, a golden-colored gale came sweeping by and the several profound realm Jia clan members flipped over as they were blown, like scarecrows, and they were thrown away by the wind. At the same time, three aged figures appeared in front of Chu Feng without any noise. The one who led was elderly of the World Spirit Guild. The one called Li, move. This is a private grudge between my Jia clan and this child. Do not interfere. Seeing that, the expressions of the elders from the Jia clan changed greatly as they pointed at elderly and yelled extremely displeasedly. Nonsense. This place is my World Spirit Guilds, and it isn't your Jia clan turn to act so atrociously. Elder Lee's face also turned cold as he waved his big sleeve. Coming from outside of the plaza, several thousand people rushed in and completely surrounded the Jia clan. The one called Lee. You have quite the nerves. For an outsider, you arm yourself against my Jia clan. This violates the Treaty of the Alliance and it destroys the peaceful relationship between my Jia clan and your World Spirit Guild. Are you able to carry this responsibility? The Jia Clan Elder interrogated. Humph, don't think I don't know about your Jia Clan's fine deeds in the Azura Ghost Tower. Even if does violate the treaty, your Jia Clan aired first. Today, I will place my words right here. Chu Feng is protected by my World Spirit Guild. If any one of you dares to attack Chu Feng, do not blame me for not restraining myself. Elder Li's gaze were like flames and his tone was extremely forceful. Fine, the one called Lee. Let's see if you can carry this responsibility. In response, even though the Jia clan were extremely angered, they did not say anything and they only led their army, turned around, and left. After all, that was the territory of the World Spirit Guild and they were indeed in the wrong for that exam. Don't worry. Even if your Jia clan doesn't look for me, my World Spirit Guild will look for you for fairness. Elderly also didn't let him go so easily. After the Jia clan left, the curtains of the White Cloak exam also fell. However, Chu Feng, who was the focus of this exam, did not leave as he was invited by the World Spirit Guild into a very luxurious palace. A grand feast was already prepared for treating Chu Feng, and the person who received Chu Feng was his peer, Gu Bo. Brother Gu Bo, this, Chu Feng felt a bit overwhelmed as he looked at the sumptuous feast. Not only did the World Spirit Guild help him hold back the troubles from the Jia clan, currently, they were even treating him like that, so he was quite overwhelmed. Brother Chu Feng, no need restrain yourself. You are worthy enough to be treated like this by my World Spirit Guild. Gu Bo smiled at Chu Feng. After hearing that, Chu Feng understood the intentions of the World Spirit Guild. Obviously, they saw his own potential and they wanted to pull Chu Feng into the World Spirit Guild. To Chu Feng, that was a good thing, so he did not push it away. However, at that moment, the exam already finished and everyone who participated in the exam already left the World Spirit Guild. Zhuge Luyun was still waiting outside. And since Chu Feng was afraid that his master would be worried, he said, Brother Gu Bo, my master is still outside of the World Spirit Guild, I want. Chu Feng bro, don't worry. People have already been sent to invite your master and the both of you will reunite soon. Gu Bo smiled then pulled Chu Feng to take a seat. 
At the same time, outside of the World Spirit Guild, within a city that was specially made for providing rest for outsiders, Juga Luyun was standing at the city gate while anxiously waiting. Have you heard of a young man called Chu Feng in this exam? He stepped onto the sixth floor of the Azure Ghost Tower and got a ripe spirit fruit. I've heard of it. I even know that Chu Feng is only 15 years old this year, but already has the cultivation of the first level of the Origin Realm. His battle prowess is even more frightening. According to rumors, even those at the fifth level of the Origin Realm cannot defeat him. That's right. The young generation of the Jia clan were all swept away, and even that Jia Bufan was defeated by Chu Feng's hands. Several of them? He even defeated the Jia clan members? He's a bit too bold, right? With how the Jia clan think, they would certainly not forgive him. You don't understand. Talent like Chu Feng's hasn't appeared for a hundred years, and he is already destined in becoming a genius. The World Spirit Guild has already let out word that they would protect Chu Feng. Right now, he is invited to the World Spirit Guild as a guest and the Jia clan would not dare to touch him. As Zhuge Lu Yun was waiting for the arrival of Chu Feng, several white cloak world spiritists next to him were chatting to one another. One mouth after the other were talking about Chu Feng and the heart of Zhuge Lu Yun, who listened jumped. So, he went up and politely asked, Old brothers, did the Chu Feng that you were talking about come from the Azure province? Marshal God Azura Chapter 202 Returning to the Azure Province Azure Province Although I don't know where that Chu Feng came from, such a powerful genius shouldn't have come from the Azure Province, right? Yeah, how can a genius like Chu Feng appear from a place like the Azure Province? They first looked at Juga Lu Yun, then all of them shook their heads. Then, that Chu Feng has a blue-colored long robe, white face, thick eyebrows, big eyes, tall and straight nose, and also a young and tender appearance. He is also skilled in a strange martial skill. He is able to control his origin power to condense various types of gold-colored weapons out as he wishes, and he uses them quite impressively. Especially after condensing a golden-colored longbow, the arrows that are shot do not miss and even those at the fifth level of the origin realm can't resist against it? Zhuge Luyun continued asking. This I'm not too clear about what he wore and his appearance but he did seem to grasp a rank 5 martial skill that can condense various weapons out. That's right, I heard that he is good with an outstanding bodily martial skill. Lightning rises from under his feet and he becomes strangely quick. One of them answered. After hearing those words, Juga Lu Yun rejoiced and after hitting his fist to his palm, he said, it is certainly him. Mm? Old brother, from your tone, you seem to know that Chu Feng? Seeing that, several of them suspiciously asked. As he looked at the several expressions, Juga Lu Yun raised his head high, stuck his chest out, then said while patting his chest, to be completely honest, that Chu Feng is my disciple. Ha 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 ha, what Juga Lu Yun's words were exchanged for were the laughter of the others, as if they heard the most funniest joke in the world. Seeing that, Juga Lu Yun's face was a bit ugly, however, he did not know how to explain it. Although he was a fearful character in the Azure Dragon School, at this place, he really wasn't much. Not to mention the others, but even the people who he chatted with at that instant were all experts of the profound realm. He could not find any feelings of superiority because very few people who were roughly in the same generation as him were weaker than him. Look, it's the people from the World Spirit Guild. But just at that time, suddenly, someone pointed nearby and yelled in surprise. After looking over, indeed, there was a group formed by a hundred people from the World Spirit Guild and they were currently walking over. At that instant, even Juga Lu Yun revealed an expression of reverence. As World Spiritists, which one did not want to join the World Spirit Guild and become a member of that huge group? However, the requirements for the World Spirit Guild were extremely strict and one could not join with only a certain level of cultivation. They required the world spiritists' talent and they needed to sign a special contract. That contract was equivalent to a contract that sold themselves. Not only that, it also sold their offsprings, 
and every single generation were required to serve the World Spirit Guild. It was a huge restriction. So, that contract gave many a chance to become a member of the World Spirit Guild, but it also made those who enjoyed freedom to stop and only look. What Juga Luyun did not expect was that the group of people from the World Spirit Guild stopped in front of him. The middle-aged man who led looked at the portrait in his hands, then politely said to Zhuge Luyun, If I may ask, are you Mr. Zhuge Luyun? That's me. Zhuge Luyun cautiously replied. This tone was very kind as well because he did not dare to have a single trace of disrespect towards the World Spirit Guild. Even if their cultivation was inferior to him, he still did not dare. Congratulations Mr. Zhuge. Your disciple, Chu Feng, got first place in the White Cloak exam. On the orders of the elders, I invite you to be a guest at the World Spirit Guild. After confirming Zhuge Liuyun's identity, his attitude became even more respectful. You you you, you really are. After hearing those words, before even letting Zhuge Liuyun respond, the several people next to him were like exploding pots. Their faces were stunned because they knew that this time, they really had eyes, but did not recognize Mount Tai. As for Zhuge Liuyun, his heart was filled with joy and he was so excited that he didn't know what to do. He never would have thought that the World Spirit Guild would invite him in such a grand way. It was quite an honorable thing. Of course, the thing that he was even more happy about was that the World Spirit Guild gave him an answer. It was that his disciple, Chu Feng, was truly first in the White Cloak exam. To him, that was an extremely glorious thing. After that, Zhuge Luyun went into the World Spirit Guild and elderly even personally welcomed Chu Feng and Zhuge Luyun. He even invited Chu Feng and Zhuge Luyun to be a member of the World Spirit Guild. The most important thing was that they got a status badge. It was a very special kind as it was similar to the status of being a guest elder. Their freedoms were not restricted yet they could enjoy all the benefits of being from the World Spirit Guild, possibly even getting better treatment. That made Chu Feng and Zhuge Luyun extremely glad. Especially Zhuge Luyun because that was equal to completing an uncompletable wish as he was able to become a member of the World Spirit Guild. After being a member of the World Spirit Guild, Zhuge Luyun received an invitation and he decided to stay in the World Spirit Guild for a few more days. As for Chu Feng, since he had matters to attend to, he needed to quickly return to the Azure province. Before leaving, Chu Feng gave the ripe spirit fruit that he nourished in the Azure Ghost Tower to Zhuge Luyun. That attracted the admiration of Elder Li because a ripe spirit fruit was extremely precious and it helped one's spirit power greatly. As for Zhuge Luyun, he was even more touched. He knew that he took in the right disciple and the many years of waiting were not wasted because he accepted an impressive disciple. So, on that day, Chu Feng left the World Spirit Guild and headed towards the Azure province, because after some calculations of the date, the time to Sumei's marriage already neared. 6304.85 Beft B9 8C9622 D6 C69 Chapter 202 Returning to the Azure Province Azure Province? Although I don't know where that Chu Feng came from, such a powerful genius shouldn't have come from the Azure province, right? Yeah, how can a genius like Chu Feng appear from a place like the Azure province? They first looked at Zhuge Luyun, then all of them shook their heads. Then, that Chu Feng has a blue-colored long robe, white face, thick eyebrows, big eyes, tall and straight nose, and also a young and tender appearance. He is also skilled in a strange martial skill. He is able to control his origin power to condense various types of gold-colored weapons out as he wishes, and he uses them quite impressively. Especially after condensing a golden-colored longbow, the arrows that are shot do not miss and even those at the fifth level of the origin realm can't resist against it? Zhuge Luyun continued asking. This I'm not too clear about what he wore and his appearance but he did seem to grasp a rank 5 martial skill that can condense various weapons out. That's right, I heard that he is good with an outstanding bodily martial skill. Lightning rises from under his feet and he becomes strangely quick. One of them answered. After hearing those words, 
Juga Luyun rejoiced, and after hitting his fist to his palm, he said, It is certainly him. Mm? Old brother, from your tone, you seem to know that Chu Fong? Seeing that, several of them suspiciously asked. As he looked at the several expressions, Juga Luyun raised his head high, stuck his chest out, then said while patting his chest, to be completely honest, that Chu Fong is my disciple. Ha 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 ha, what Juga Luyun's words were exchanged for were the laughter of the others, as if they heard the most funniest joke in the world. Seeing that, Juga Luyun's face was a bit ugly, however, he did not know how to explain it. Although he was a fearful character in the Azure Dragon School, at this place, he really wasn't much. Not to mention the others, but even the people who he chatted with at that instant were all experts of the profound realm. He could not find any feelings of superiority because very few people who were roughly in the same generation as him were weaker than him. Look, it's the people from the World Spirit Guild. But just at that time, suddenly, someone pointed nearby and yelled in surprise. After looking over, indeed, there was a group formed by a hundred people from the World Spirit Guild and they were currently walking over. At that instant, even Zhuge Lu Yun revealed an expression of reverence. As World Spiritists, which one did not want to join the World Spirit Guild and become a member of that huge group? However, the requirements for the World Spirit Guild were extremely strict and one could not join with only a certain level of cultivation. They required the world spiritists' talent and they needed to sign a special contract. That contract was equivalent to a contract that sold themselves. Not only that, it also sold their offsprings, and every single generation were required to serve the World Spirit Guild. It was a huge restriction. So, that contract gave many a chance to become a member of the World Spirit Guild, but it also made those who enjoyed freedom to stop and only look. What Juga Lu Yun did not expect was that the group of people from the World Spirit Guild stopped in front of him. The middle-aged man who led looked at the portrait in his hands, then politely said to Juga Lu Yun, If I may ask, are you Mr. Juga Lu Yun? That's me. Juga Lu Yun cautiously replied. This tone was very kind as well because he did not dare to have a single trace of disrespect towards the World Spirit Guild. Even if their cultivation was inferior to him, he still did not dare. Congratulations, Mr. Zhuga. Your disciple, Chu Fong, got first place in the White Cloak exam. On the orders of the elders, I invite you to be a guest at the World Spirit Guild. After confirming Zhuga Liuyun's identity, his attitude became even more respectful. You, 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 you really are. After hearing those words, before even letting Zhuga Liuyun respond, the several people next to him were like exploding pots. Their faces were stunned because they knew that this time, they really had eyes, but did not recognize Mount Tai. As for Zhuge Lu Yun, his heart was filled with joy and he was so excited that he didn't know what to do. He never would have thought that the World Spirit Guild would invite him in such a grand way. It was quite an honorable thing. Of course, the thing that he was even more happy about was that the World Spirit Guild gave him an answer. It was that his disciple, Chu Fong, was truly first in the White Cloak exam. To him, that was an extremely glorious thing. After that, Zhuge Lu Yun went into the World Spirit Guild and elderly even personally welcomed Chu Fong and Zhuge Lu Yun. He even invited Chu Fong and Zhuge Lu Yun to be a member of the World Spirit Guild. The most important thing was that they got a status badge. It was a very special kind as it was similar to the status of being a guest elder. Their freedoms were not restricted yet they could enjoy all the benefits of being from the World Spirit Guild, possibly even getting better treatment. That made Chu Feng and Zhuge Lu Yun extremely glad. Especially Zhuge Lu Yun because that was equal to completing an uncompletable wish as he was able to become a member of the World Spirit Guild. After being a member of the World Spirit Guild, Juga Lu Yun received an invitation and he decided to stay in the World Spirit Guild for a few more days. As for Chu Feng, since he had matters to attend to, he needed to quickly return to the Azure Province. Before leaving, Chu Feng gave the ripe spirit fruit that he nourished in the Azure Ghost Tower to Juga Lu Yun. 
that attracted the admiration of Elder Lee because a ripe spirit fruit was extremely precious and it helped one's spirit power greatly. As for Zhuge Luyun, he was even more touched. He knew that he took in the right disciple and the many years of waiting were not wasted because he accepted an impressive disciple. So, on that day, Chu Feng left the World Spirit Guild and headed towards the Azure province because after some calculations of the date, the time to Sumei's marriage already neared. Marshal got Azura. Chapter 203 Arriving at the Void School Within the clear and bright skies, above the endless white clouds, a huge white-headed eagle streaked past the air. That white-headed eagle was extremely beautiful and its speed was strangely quick. It was a white-headed eagle of the highest quality and it was one of the presents that the World Spirit Guild gave Chu Feng. Chu Feng sat cross-legged on the white-headed eagle as he closed his eyes to rest. He did not steer the eagle because it understood human nature and it understood the paths in the spirit province and the azure province. There was no need to steer it. With a few words, it would automatically arrive to the destination. Gone? After flying out of the spirit province and into the azure province, Chu Feng slowly opened his eyes and swept his gaze behind. Gone. The Jia clan aren't idiots and they know that the World Spirit Guild would hiddenly see you off. Naturally, they would not dare to attack. Eggie's pleasant voice rang out and it was extremely moving. But sadly, that sweet voice could only be heard by Chu Feng himself. I would really have to thank the World Spirit Guild. A grateful smile appeared on the corner of Chu Feng's mouth. After he left the World Spirit Guild, the Jia clan had people hiddenly following Chu Feng. However, the World Spirit Guild also sent out experts to hiddenly protect him. Both of them were in the darkness, but they detected one another. So, after leaving the Spirit Province, the Jia clan and the World Spirit Guild did not follow him anymore. As for how Chu Feng detected it, they were from the huge benefits that Chu Feng gained after the White Cloak exam. In order to rope Chu Feng closer to them, not only did the World Spirit Guild gift quite a costly white-headed eagle to Chu Feng, they even gave him some origin beads and some things that were beneficial for spirit power. Chu Feng relied on those origin beads to successfully enter the second level of the origin realm. However, that was not the most important thing. The most important thing was from the power of the spirit fruit and in addition to the gifts from the World Spirit Guild, he raised his spirit power to an extremely powerful level and he stepped onto an entirely new stage. The current Chu Feng could already use the power of the Grey Cloak Spirit Formation. His spirit power was extremely strong and the spirit formations he laid were incomparably strong. To be more strict, Chu Feng was already a Grey Cloak World Spiritist. However, because he had some things he needed to do, Chu Feng did not go for the Grey Cloak exam. But in reality, Chu Feng didn't really even need to enter the exam because he already had a World Spirit Grey Cloak on him. Due to the quick speed of the white-headed eagle, it greatly reduced the traveling time. So, after returning to the Azure Province, Chu Feng did not directly go towards the Vermilion Bird Mountain Range, but to the Void Mountain Range outside of the Vermilion Bird Mountain Range. Little White, wait for me here. On a cliff in the mountain range, Chu Feng stroked the huge white-headed eagle a few times before heading towards the middle of the mountain range. As for Little White, it was the name that he gave the white-headed eagle. Chu Feng's target was a second-rate school in the Void Mountain Range. That school was called the Void School. Although its strength wasn't as strong as the Azure Dragon School and it was only mediocre within second-rate schools, after all, it was still a second-rate school. As for why Chu Feng went to that place, he just wanted to use some people. So, not only did he borrow Eggie's power, he also put the gray-colored cloak on to increase his negotiation power. Within the main hall of the Void School, the head of the Void School was currently chatting with two manager elders. The leader was a middle-aged big man. Although he was not even 50 years old, his head was already filled with white hair and he had the cultivation of the third level of the profound realm. Although the two manager elders weren't as strong as the head of the Void School in terms of cultivation, they were still experts of the profound realm. 
However, suddenly, the tightly closed big door was abruptly opened as an elder rushed in. Lord Head, there's, there's an esteemed guest here. That elder was full of sweat. His face was pale white and he said with a quivering voice. Esteemed guest? Who? Seeing that, the head of the void school and the two elders knew that something was wrong as they quickly stood up and questioned while their heads were full of fog. It's me. An aged voice rang out and Chu Fong already entered the main hall without even making any noise. After that, he waved his big sleeve and the door was blown by a gust of wind and it was closed. At the same time, a layer of grey-coloured spirit formation surrounded the main hall and condensed. It locked everyone who was there within it. Grey Cloak World Spiritist After looking at the grey cloak on Chu Feng's body and the methods that he displayed, the void school head and the two manager elders yelled out in surprise at the same time. It was because the status of Grey Cloak World Spiritists were too noble. After all, within the entire Azure province, there were only two Grey Cloak World Spiritists. One was in the number one school, the Lingyun School, and the other one was in the Chilean Prince's Mansion. The statuses of both of them were extremely high and they were extremely well-known, huge characters. In front of them, since a Grey Cloak World Spiritist like that appeared, immediately, it made people think of the two characters. So naturally, everyone who was there would be incomparably shocked and their nervous hearts were banging and jumping all over the place. Senior, I wonder what your esteemed name is, and what matters do you have to honor your presence in my void school? The head of the void school respectfully asked after organizing his emotions. I have no name nor surname, but you can call me as Mr. Greycloak. I do have a request by coming here today. Chu Feng walked over to the throne of the Void School's head and sat there, as if he was the master of that area. Mr. Greycloak? The head of the Void School was shocked once again because he never heard of that name before. It could be seen that the person in front of him was neither the person in the Lingyun School nor the one from the Chilean Prince's mansion. However, he could not be sure that the person in front of his eyes was not one of the two huge characters. But no matter what, a Grey Cloak World Spiritist was not someone who his Void School could offend. So, the head of the Void School lightly smiled and said, I wonder what request Mr. Grey Cloak has? As long as my Void School can do it, I will not shrink away from it. Three days later, I want you to lead the elites of the Void School and go towards the Vermilion Bird City to help me marry a lady. Lady? Who? The little daughter of the Vermilion Bird City's lord, Su Mei. Su Mei? Isn't, isn't that the person who the son of the Shangguan family, Shangguanya, will marry in three days? After hearing those words, the few people who were there were incomparably astonished and difficult expressions appeared on their faces. The Shangguan family was not to be underestimated. In terms of strength, they were even stronger than his void school. Telling them to help him marry the future wife of Shangguanya of the Shangguan family was undoubtedly telling them to become the enemy of the Shangguan family, and it would cause a calamity for the Void School. However, their Void School could also not offend a Grey Cloak World Spiritist. After all, even a first-rate school had to respectfully treat a huge character like that, not to mention a mere second-rate school. Don't worry. I won't let you go ahead with your real identities since that is equal to making a huge enemy. You can disguise yourselves as not the Void School, but as the subordinates of me, Mr. Greycloak. Also, I won't make you do all this for nothing. As long as you are willing to go ahead and propose this marriage, no matter if it succeeds or doesn't, I will lay a huge spirit formation array in the core zone of your Void School as compensation. Chu Feng indifferently said. After speaking those words, the head of the Void School and the two manager elders all lit up their eyes and insane happiness appeared on their faces. A spirit formation personally laid by a Grey Cloak World Spiritist. That degree of attraction was too great because after all, that was something that many first-rate schools did not even have. 630485BFB98C9622D6C69 Chapter 203 Arriving at the Void School
Within the clear and bright skies, above the endless white clouds, a huge white-headed eagle streaked past the air. That white-headed eagle was extremely beautiful and its speed was strangely quick. It was a white-headed eagle of the highest quality and it was one of the presents that the World Spirit Guild gave Chu Feng. Chu Feng sat cross-legged on the white-headed eagle as he closed his eyes to rest. He did not steer the eagle because it understood human nature and it understood the paths in the spirit province and the azure province. There was no need to steer it. With a few words, it would automatically arrive to the destination. Gone? After flying out of the spirit province and into the azure province, Chu Feng slowly opened his eyes and swept his gaze behind. Gone. The Jia clan aren't idiots and they know that the World Spirit Guild would hiddenly see you off. Naturally, they would not dare to attack. Eggie's pleasant voice rang out and it was extremely moving. But sadly, that sweet voice could only be heard by Chu Feng himself. I would really have to thank the World Spirit Guild. A grateful smile appeared on the corner of Chu Feng's mouth. After he left the World Spirit Guild, the Jia clan had people hiddenly following Chu Feng. However, the World Spirit Guild also sent out experts to hiddenly protect him. Both of them were in the darkness, but they detected one another. So, after leaving the Spirit Province, the Jia clan and the World Spirit Guild did not follow him anymore. As for how Chu Feng detected it, they were from the huge benefits that Chu Feng gained after the White Cloak exam. In order to rope Chu Feng closer to them, not only did the World Spirit Guild gift quite a costly white-headed eagle to Chu Feng, they even gave him some origin beads and some things that were beneficial for spirit power. Chu Feng relied on those origin beads to successfully enter the second level of the origin realm. However, that was not the most important thing. The most important thing was from the power of the spirit fruit and in addition to the gifts from the World Spirit Guild, he raised his spirit power to an extremely powerful level and he stepped onto an entirely new stage. The current Chu Feng could already use the power of the Grey Cloak Spirit Formation. His spirit power was extremely strong and the spirit formations he laid were incomparably strong. To be more strict, Chu Feng was already a Grey Cloak World Spiritist. However, because he had some things he needed to do, Chu Feng did not go for the Grey Cloak exam. But in reality, Chu Feng didn't really even need to enter the exam because he already had a World Spirit Grey Cloak on him. Due to the quick speed of the White Headed Eagle, it greatly reduced the traveling time. So, after returning to the Azure Province, Chu Feng did not directly go towards the Vermilion Bird Mountain Range, but to the Void Mountain Range outside of the Vermilion Bird Mountain Range. Little White, wait for me here. On a cliff in the mountain range, Chu Feng stroked the huge white-headed eagle a few times before heading towards the middle of the mountain range. As for Little White, it was the name that he gave the white-headed eagle. Chu Feng's target was a second-rate school in the Void Mountain Range. That school was called the Void School. Although its strength wasn't as strong as the Azure Dragon School, and it was only mediocre within second-rate schools, after all, it was still a second-rate school. As for why Chu Feng went to that place, he just wanted to use some people. So, not only did he borrow Eggy's power, he also put the gray-colored cloak on to increase his negotiation power. Within the main hall of the Void School, the head of the Void School was currently chatting with two manager elders. The leader was a middle-aged big man. Although he was not even 50 years old, his head was already filled with white hair and he had the cultivation of the third level of the profound realm. Although the two manager elders weren't as strong as the head of the Void School in terms of cultivation, they were still experts of the profound realm. However, suddenly, the tightly closed big door was abruptly opened as an elder rushed in. Lord Head, there's, there's an esteemed guest here. That elder was full of sweat. His face was pale white and he said with a quivering voice. Esteemed guest? Who? Seeing that, the head of the Void School and the two elders knew that something was wrong as they quickly stood up and questioned while their heads were full of fog. It's me. An aged voice rang out and Chu Feng already entered the main hall without even making any noise. After that, 
he waved his big sleeve and the door was blown by a gust of wind and it was closed. At the same time, a layer of gray-colored spirit formation surrounded the main hall and condensed. It locked everyone who was there within it. Gray Cloak World Spiritist After looking at the gray cloak on Chu Feng's body and the methods that he displayed, the void school head and the two manager elders yelled out in surprise at the same time. It was because the status of gray cloak world spiritists were too noble. After all, within the entire Azure province, there were only two gray cloak world spiritists. One was in the number one school, the Lingyun School, and the other one was in the Qilin Prince's mansion. The statuses of both of them were extremely high and they were extremely well-known, huge characters. In front of them, since a gray cloak world spiritist like that appeared, immediately, it made people think of the two characters. So naturally, everyone who was there would be incomparably shocked and their nervous hearts were banging and jumping all over the place. Senior, I wonder what your esteemed name is, and what matters do you have to honor your presence in my void school? The head of the void school respectfully asked after organizing his emotions. I have no name nor surname, but you can call me as Mr. Greycloak. I do have a request by coming here today. Chu Feng walked over to the throne of the void school's head and sat there, as if he was the master of that area. Mr. Greycloak? The head of the void school was shocked once again because he never heard of that name before. It could be seen that the person in front of him was neither the person in the Lingyun school nor the one from the Chilin Prince's mansion. However, he could not be sure that the person in front of his eyes was not one of the two huge characters. But no matter what, a gray cloak world spiritist was not someone who his void school could offend. So, the head of the void school lightly smiled and said, I wonder what request Mr. Gray Cloak has? As long as my void school can do it, I will not shrink away from it. Three days later, I want you to lead the elites of the void school and go towards the Vermilion Bird City to help me marry a lady. Lady? Who? The little daughter of the Vermilion Bird City's lord, Su Mei. Su Mei? Isn't, isn't that the person who the son of the Shangguan family, Shangguanya, will marry in three days? After hearing those words, the few people who were there were incomparably astonished and difficult expressions appeared on their faces. The Shangguan family was not to be underestimated. In terms of strength, they were even stronger than his void school. Telling them to help him marry the future wife of Shangguanya of the Shangguan family was undoubtedly telling them to become the enemy of the Shangguan family, and it would cause a calamity for the void school. However, their void school could also not offend a gray cloak world spiritist. After all, even a first-rate school had to respectfully treat a huge character like that, not to mention a mere second-rate school. Don't worry. I won't let you go ahead with your real identities since that is equal to making a huge enemy. You can disguise yourselves as not the void school, but as the subordinates of me, Mr. Greycloak. Also, I won't make you do all this for nothing. As long as you are willing to go ahead and propose this marriage, no matter if it succeeds or doesn't, I will lay a huge spirit formation array in the core zone of your void school as compensation. Chu Feng indifferently said. After speaking those words, the head of the void school and the two manager elders all lit up their eyes and insane happiness appeared on their faces. A spirit formation personally laid by a gray cloak world spiritist. That degree of attraction was too great because after all, that was something that many first-rate schools did not even have. Marshall got Azura. Chapter 204 Day of Great Joy Three Days Later, Within the Vermilion Bird City Everyone was extremely happy and all the noble clans, high-ranking officials, and famous people outside returned to the Vermilion Bird City. Today was a day of great joy as the future master of the Shangguan family, Shangguanya, was going to marry Su Mei who was the young daughter of the lord of the Vermilion Bird City, Su Hen. However, as firecrackers boomed outside and gongs and drums rang to the heavens, within a room in the city lord's residence, the atmosphere was clearly abnormally gloomy. Today, Su Mei wore a red-colored long dress. That dress was extremely beautiful, and Su Mei's sweet and beautiful face was emphasized to the extreme. 
her beauty could truly devastate counties and cities. However, even though the female servant who was next to her put makeup on, dressed, and combed her, even though laughter reached the skies outside, there was not a single trace of happiness on Sume's face. In contrary, two strings of tears were flowing down her sweet face. That made the servant panic as she kept on wiping away the tears for Sume. She wanted to fix the makeup, but it was useless as the tears surged more and more, until the makeup on her face was thoroughly ruined. Bang. Move. Suddenly, a boom came from the entrance and the sturdy big door was shattered into pieces. Two of the guards for the city lord's residence fell into the room and lost consciousness. Ah, that change caused the female servants to screech. However, when two figures walked in, the servants were dumbfounded where they stood. A male and a female walked in. The female wore a white dress and she was extremely pretty. She had a bewitching figure, charming face, and she could simply hook onto one's soul. It would cause other females to be lost within the beauty, and she was Su Mei's elder sister, Su Ro. A tall, big, and a well-built male stood next to Su Ro. The male had thick eyebrows, big eyes, and dark skin. He was none other than the elder brother of Su Ro and Su Mei, Su Hen's oldest son, Su Long. Su Long was 25 years old this year, and he already established himself quite well. He had the cultivation of the second level of the profound realm and as the eldest son of the Su family, he was usually outside, helping the Su family set up relationships so he rarely returned to the Vermilion Bird City. However, when Su Long got news that his own little sister was going to be married to Shangguanya, and it was even a forced marriage, he hurried back. Brother, sister, why are you two here? When she saw the two people, Sume panicked a bit as she quickly wiped the tears on her face away. Little sister, follow me. Let's go. Su Long looked at Sume, who had tears all over her face, and without saying any more, he grabbed onto Sume's little hand and walked out. Su Ro followed him without saying anything. Brother, sister, what are you doing? Let me go. Su Mei's tried her best to struggle, but she could not do anything. In front of her elder brother, her cultivation of the spirit realm was absolutely nothing. Idiot sister. You don't even like that Shang Guanya, so how can you marry him? As your elder brother, I will not just stare as you jump towards living hell. As Su Long spoke, he already dragged Su Mei out of the palace. However, when he arrived at the entrance, he couldn't help but be taken aback and he stopped his steps forward. Dozens of people showed in front of him. All of them were the peak experts of the Vermilion Bird City, and the one who led was the city lord of the Vermilion Bird City, the father of the three siblings, Su Hen. What are you doing? Su Hen's sword-like brows slanted inwards as he coldly interrogated. Father, I will bring little Mei away. I will not let her marry, that Shangguan, you bastard. Su Long loudly said. Bam. Immediately after he finished speaking, a clear and loud slap landed on Su Long's face. The strong power forcibly slapped the well-built male, who was at the second level of the profound realm, down to the ground. A blood-red palm mark appeared on his face. The person who did that was his father, Su Hen. Get out of here. Su Hen pointed at Su Long and loudly reprimanded. Father. Are you truly only going to watch as little Mei marries a person she doesn't like? Just at that time, Su Ro came out. She walked next to Su Mei and said while pointing at her face. Look. Look well. Look at the tears on your daughter's face. Can you not see her unwillingness? Can you not see her bitterness? You, as a father, truly want to personally cut off your daughter's happiness and let her wash her face with tears in the future? Su Ro's tone was extremely sharp and everyone who was there felt the sorrow. Even Su Hen's eyes glittered and he could not say anything at that moment. After a good while, he waved his hand towards the crowd behind him. Those people were Su Hen's trusted aides and all of them instantly understood Su Hen's meaning. They tactfully left and after they left, only four people remained there, Su Hen, Su Long, Su Ro, and Su Mei. 
Ah, Su Hen first sighed, then completely changed his furious attitude from before and gently said, Longer, little Ro, little Mei. I truly have no say on this matter. The Shangguan family gained high approval from the Qilin Prince's mansion and they have the qualifications to fight over the ruling right of the Vermilion Bird City. Shang Wan Yu also had a breakthrough and he entered the sixth level of the Profound Realm recently. His cultivation already surpassed me and he is now the strongest person in the Vermilion Bird City. If he wants to fight over the ruling right of the Vermilion Bird City, the position of the city lord can only belong to him and no one else. Even the city lord's mansion will need to be given to him. The results of so many hard years would be for naught. However, Shang Wan Yu said to me that he has become aged and he doesn't care about the Vermilion Bird City's ruling right. Currently, he only wants his two grandsons to get settled. So, as long as Little Mane marries Shang Wan Ya and they quickly finish the marriage, his Shang Wan family will never fight over the ruling right of the Vermilion Bird City. Father, how can you be so foolish? Shang Wan Yu is an old cunning fox. How can you believe his words? Su Ro refuted. Yeah, father. He is clearly threatening you to give Little Mei over to Shang Ya. However, when Little Mei marries over, perhaps he will instantly regret it and fight over the Vermilion Bird City's ruling right. Su Long also went up and said. What do any of you understand? Even if Shang Yu regrets it, as long as Little Mei is married over, the Shang family will not make things too difficult for my Su family. As long as my Su family has a certain foundation, there will be a date of revolution. Sooner or later, I will enter the sixth level of the profound realm. At that time, I can retake everything. Su Hen's face became serious. Father, are you saying that the so-called foundation of the Su family is even more important than Little May's happiness? In order to protect the family's foundation, you are willing to give Little May up as a bargaining chip? You are personally digging a grave for your own daughter's happiness. Even Su Ro's eyes became moist. That's right. To me, the Su family's foundation is more important. Su Hen replied. Since it has come to this, there is no need to speak any more. Today, I will bring little Mei away. Su Ro grabbed onto Su Mei, leaped, displayed a profound bodily technique, and escaped afar. Father, for little Mei's joy, I must offend. At the same time, Su Long also displayed a strong martial skill and attacked his own father. He wanted to stall some time for Su Ro and Su Mei to cover their escape. 630485BFB98C9622D6C69 Chapter 204 Day of Great Joy Three days later, within the Vermilion Bird City, Everyone was extremely happy and all the noble clans, high-ranking officials, and famous people outside returned to the Vermilion Bird City. Today was a day of great joy as the future master of the Shangguan family, Shang Wanya, was going to marry Su Mei, who was the young daughter of the lord of the Vermilion Bird City, Su Hen. However, as firecrackers boomed outside and gongs and drums rang to the heavens, Within a room in the city lord's residence, the atmosphere was clearly abnormally gloomy. Today, Su Mei wore a red-colored long dress. That dress was extremely beautiful, and Su Mei's sweet and beautiful face was emphasized to the extreme. Her beauty could truly devastate counties and cities. However, even though the female servant who was next to her put makeup on, dressed, and combed her, even though laughter reached the skies outside, there was not a single trace of happiness on Sumei's face. In contrary, two streams of tears were flowing down her sweet face. That made the servant panic as she kept on wiping away the tears for Sumei. She wanted to fix the makeup, but it was useless as the tears surged more and more, until the makeup on her face was thoroughly ruined. Bang. Move. Suddenly, a boom came from the entrance and the sturdy big door was shattered into pieces. Two of the guards for the city lord's residence fell into the room and lost consciousness. Ah, that change caused the female servants to screech. However, when two figures walked in, the servants were dumbfounded where they stood. A male and a female walked in. The female wore a white dress and she was extremely pretty. 
She had a bewitching figure, charming face, and she could simply hook onto one's soul. It would cause other females to be lost within the beauty, and she was Su Mei's elder sister, Su Ro. A tall, big, and a well-built male stood next to Su Ro. The male had thick eyebrows, big eyes, and dark skin. He was none other than the elder brother of Su Ro and Su Mei, Su Hen's oldest son, Su Long. Su Long was 25 years old this year, and he already established himself quite well. He had the cultivation of the second level of the profound realm and as the eldest son of the Su family, he was usually outside, helping the Su family set up relationships so he rarely returned to the Vermilion Bird City. However, when Su Long got news that his own little sister was going to be married to Shangguanya, and it was even a forced marriage, he hurried back. Brother, sister, why are you two here? When she saw the two people, Su Mei panicked a bit as she quickly wiped the tears on her face away. Little sister, follow me. Let's go. Su Long looked at Su Mei, who had tears all over her face, and without saying any more, he grabbed onto Su Mei's little hand and walked out. Su Ro followed him without saying anything. Brother, sister, what are you doing? Let me go. Su Mei's tried her best to struggle, but she could not do anything. In front of her elder brother, her cultivation of the spirit realm was absolutely nothing. Idiot sister. You don't even like that Shang Guanya, so how can you marry him? As your elder brother, I will not just stare as you jump towards living hell. As Su Long spoke, he already dragged Su Mei out of the palace. However, when he arrived at the entrance, he couldn't help but be taken aback and he stopped his steps forward. Dozens of people showed in front of him. All of them were the peak experts of the Vermilion Bird City, and the one who led was the city lord of the Vermilion Bird City, the father of the three siblings, Su Hen. What are you doing? Su Hen's sword-like brows slanted inwards as he coldly interrogated. Father, I will bring little Mei away. I will not let her marry, that Shangguan you bastard. Su Long loudly said. Bam. Immediately after he finished speaking, a clear and loud slap landed on Su Long's face. The strong power forcibly slapped the well-built male, who was at the second level of the profound realm, down to the ground. A blood-red palm mark appeared on his face. The person who did that was his father, Su Hen. Get out of here. Su Hen pointed at Su Long and loudly reprimanded. Father. Are you truly only going to watch as little Mei marries a person she doesn't like? Just at that time, Su Ro came out. She walked next to Su Mei and said while pointing at her face. Look. Look well. Look at the tears on your daughter's face. Can you not see her unwillingness? Can you not see her bitterness? You, as a father, Truly want to personally cut off your daughter's happiness, and let her wash her face with tears in the future? Su Ro's tone was extremely sharp and everyone who was there felt the sorrow. Even Su Hen's eyes glittered and he could not say anything at that moment. After a good while, he waved his hand towards the crowd behind him. Those people were Su Hen's trusted aides, and all of them instantly understood Su Hen's meaning. They tactfully left, and after they left, only four people remained there, Su Hen, Su Long, Su Ro, and Su Mei. Ah, Su Hen first sighed, then completely changed his furious attitude from before and gently said, Longer, Little Ro, Little Mei. I truly have no say on this matter. The Shangguan family gained high approval from the Qilin Prince's mansion and they have the qualifications to fight over the ruling right of the Vermilion Bird City. Shang Guan Yu also had a breakthrough, and he entered the sixth level of the profound realm recently. His cultivation already surpassed me, and he is now the strongest person in the Vermilion Bird City. If he wants to fight over the ruling right of the Vermilion Bird City, the position of the city lord can only belong to him and no one else. Even the city lord's mansion will need to be given to him. The results of so many hard years would be for naught. However, Shang Guan Yu said to me that he has become aged and he doesn't care about the Vermilion Bird City's ruling right. Currently, he only wants his two grandsons to get settled. 
So, as long as little Mei marries Shangguan Ye and they quickly finish the marriage, his Shangguan family will never fight over the ruling right of the Vermilion Bird City. Father, how can you be so foolish? Shangguan Yu is an old cunning fox. How can you believe his words? Su Ro refuted. Yeah, father. He is clearly threatening you to give little Mei over to Shangguan Ye. However, when little Mei marries over, perhaps he will instantly regret it and fight over the Vermilion Bird City's ruling right. Su Long also went up and said. What do any of you understand? Even if Shangguan Yu regrets it, as long as little Mei is married over, the Shangguan family will not make things too difficult for my Su family. As long as my Su family has a certain foundation, there will be a date of revolution. Sooner or later, I will enter the sixth level of the profound realm. At that time, I can retake everything. Su Hen's face became serious. Father, are you saying that the so-called foundation of the Su family is even more important than Little May's happiness? In order to protect the family's foundation, you are willing to give Little May up as a bargaining chip? You are personally digging a grave for your own daughter's happiness. Even Su Ro's eyes became moist. That's right. To me, the Su family's foundation is more important. Su Hen replied. Since it has come to this, there is no need to speak any more. Today, I will bring little Mei away. Su Ro grabbed onto Su Mei, leaped, displayed a profound bodily technique, and escaped afar. Father, for little Mei's joy, I must offend. At the same time, Su Long also displayed a strong martial skill and attacked his own father. He wanted to stall some time for Su Ro and Su Mei to cover their escape. Martial God Azura Chapter 205 Escorting the Bride I know that you siblings have deep affection for one another, but the final situation must be always emphasized. Sooner or later, you will understand my painstaking efforts. To Su Hen, the methods of the two of them were insect-like insignificant skills. Without even moving, he released the pressure of the fifth level of the profound realm and completely dissolved Su Long's attack. After that, the strong pressure instantly engulfed everyone in that area. The strong pressure bound Su Ro down, and not to mention continuing to escape, it was even hard for her to walk a single step as she powerlessly fell to the ground. Father, let my brother and sister go. I promise you, I'll marry Shang Guanya. I'll marry him. Su Mei begged as she looked at Su Long and Su Ro, who had painful faces. Sigh. Little Mei, I am sorry. Su Hen also had a painful expression, and it could be seen that his heart was not well either. However, he did not immediately let Su Long and Su Ro go. He used special methods to temporarily seal Su Long's and Su Ro's strength. They couldn't even speak. Quickly after that matter, the Shangguan family's bride escort arrived in front of the city lord's residence. Shang Wan Ye rode a tall and big horse while wearing bridegroom clothes. His smile could not be hidden because he could finally marry the person who he yearned for even within his dreams. Tian, the bride escort is something similar to this, but in a much, much larger scale, and a sedan chair is the box-like thing that they are carrying. Within the escorting group, Shang Wan Ye's elder brother, the person who forced Chu Feng to jump into the Dragon River after he chased Chu Feng to an impasse, Shangguan Tian, was also there. The most important thing was that the current Shangguan Tian was also wearing a set of bridegroom clothes. He had a prideful look all over his face, and his pleased smile was not a single bit inferior to Shangguan Ye's. What is happening? Why are there two bridegrooms? Are the brothers both going to marry Su Mei? While facing that strange scene, everyone started their discussions, and all of them felt puzzled. Shangguan Tian. Shangguan Ya. What is the meaning of this? Su Hen led the experts from the city lord's residence out. He was also quite displeased while facing the Shangguan family's actions. My lord, what other reason can us two brothers come here for? Naturally, it is to marry your daughters. Shangguan Ye chuckled, but as he spoke, he did not even come down the horse. He said those words to Su Hen with an attitude of looking down at him. Tian, P. 
people who are in a higher position, such as a general, stay on the horses while the lower position people, such as a soldier, stay on the ground. My lord, without concealing any truths, I, Shangguan Tian, have already fallen for your daughter, Su Rao. Coincidentally, today is a date of great happiness as my younger brother, Shangguan Ye, is going to marry your youngest daughter, Su Mei. So, why not have a double marriage by also marrying Su Ro off to my Shangguan family as well? I, Shangguan Tian, will certainly treat her well. Shangguan Tian also spoke, but he also did not go down the horse to speak. Rubbish. Shangguan Ye is marrying my family's lady because it was prearranged. How about you? You did not even come up to propose, yet you directly come here to marry? You are simply marrying by force. One of the old men from the city lord's residence pointed at Shangguan Tian and angrily rebuked. Insolent. I'm talking to the city lord and you have no part in this. Shangguan Tian was furious while facing the rebuke of the old man. He raised the whip in his hand and thrashed over. Hmph, someone merely at the first level of the profound realm should not even dare to act so wildly in front of me. The old man was not afraid in the slightest when facing the whip that had profound power and was like a dragon. He raised his hand and grabbed, then the whip was tightly grasped within his hand. It turned out that the old man was a person at the second level of the profound realm. You disrespectful little brat, get down here. The old man was enraged and he wanted to pull Shangguan Tian down from the horse. Bam, but before he even got to attack, a powerful big hand grabbed his wrist. Strong power instantly restricted the old man's aura and sealed his actions that he was going to do. My lord. The old man looked to the side and he couldn't help but stare blankly because the person who stopped him was his own master, Su Hen. Su Hen first shook his head towards the old man, indicating that he should not act rashly. Then he took a deep breath and spoke to his subordinates behind him. Go. Bring the second lady and the third lady out. Today, my Su family will have a double marriage with the Shangguan family. Tian, second lady is Su Ro as she was born second, eldest brother is Su Long, and third is Su Mei as she was born third. Hugh. When Su Hen said those words, instantly, the crowd went into an uproar and everyone was endlessly shocked. If the marriage between Shang Guanya and Su Mei was completely expected and was normal, then the marriage between Shang Guan Tian and Su Ro was reasonless trouble. It was something that even normal families would not allow, let alone the city lord's family, the ruler of the Vermilion Bird City. However, at that moment, not only did Su Hen not act wildly, he even agreed. That made people quite speechless. The formerly tyrannical and mighty city lord chose to lower his head to the two young men. That made people feel that it was inconceivable and not understandable even after thinking about it a hundred times. What is happening? The city lord accepted such impolite demands from the Shangguan family? Some people who did not know the entire truth questioned. You probably don't know. I heard that the master of the Shangguan family, Shang Guan Yu, is at the sixth level of the profound realm, but the city lord is only at the fifth level of the profound realm. Although the Su family is still the ruler of the Vermilion Bird City, in reality, their strength is inferior to the Shangguan family. I also believe that the marriage advancement for Shang Guan Ye and Su Mei is because of Shang Guan Yu. Someone secretly leaked the information out. Is that true? After hearing that, everyone's expressions changed greatly and they were unceasingly stunned. It meant that the true ruler of the Vermilion Bird City was not the Su family, but the Shangguan family. That was huge news to the people in the Vermilion Bird City. Although people still felt that the matter was unimaginable, when Su Ro and Su Mei, the daughters of the city lord, wore gorgeous bride gowns and walked out of the residence, everyone knew that the current situation in the Vermilion Bird City truly did change. This is bad. City lord, this is bad. But just at that time, a panicked cry came from nearby. That panicked cry instantly shattered the happy atmosphere and everyone cast their gazes over. They saw a guard from the city lord's residence madly running over to the residence. 
However, there were wounds everywhere on his body and blood was all over the place. What's going on? What happened? In response, Su Hen and the others quickly went over. City Lord, there's, 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 an enemy invading. After that person spoke, he lost consciousness. What? Enemy invading? After hearing those words, Su Hen was thoroughly confused and he couldn't help but cast his gaze over to Shang Guanya and Shang Guan Tian. However, he discovered that they did not know what was happening as well. That confused Su Hen. In reality, to his Su family, the biggest enemy was the Shang Guan family. But currently, if the Shang Guan family was not attacking, which person dared to invade his Vermilion Bird City? Thud thud thud. Clang, clang, clang. Thud, clang, thud, clang, thud, clang, thud. Just at that time, from the direction that the guard escaped from, the noise of gongs and drums rang out. Everyone couldn't help but inhale a breath of cool air, and at the same time that they were completely baffled, ineffable fear filled their hearts because the beats of the gongs and drums were clearly from a bride's escort. 6304854B9AC9622D6C69 Chapter 205 Escorting the Bride I know that you siblings have deep affection for one another, but the final situation must be always emphasized. Sooner or later, you will understand my painstaking efforts. To Su Hen, the methods of the two of them were insect-like insignificant skills. Without even moving, he released the pressure of the fifth level of the profound realm and completely dissolved Su Long's attack. After that, the strong pressure instantly engulfed everyone in that area. The strong pressure bound Su Ro down, and not to mention continuing to escape, it was even hard for her to walk a single step as she powerlessly fell to the ground. Father, let my brother and sister go. I promise you, I'll marry Shang Guanya. I'll marry him. Su Maid begged as she looked at Su Long and Su Ro, who had painful faces. Sigh. Little May, I am sorry. Su Hen also had a painful expression, and it could be seen that his heart was not well either. However, he did not immediately let Su Long and Su Ro go. He used special methods to temporarily seal Su Long's and Su Ro's strength. They couldn't even speak. Quickly after that matter, the Shangguan family's bride escort arrived in front of the city lord's residence. Shang Wan Ye rode a tall and big horse while wearing bridegroom clothes. His smile could not be hidden because he could finally marry the person who he yearned for even within his dreams. Tian, the bride escort is something similar to this, but in a much, much larger scale, and a sedan chair is the box-like thing that they are carrying. Within the escorting group, Shang Wan Ye's elder brother, the person who forced Chu Feng to jump into the Dragon River after he chased Chu Feng to an impasse, Shang Guan Tian, was also there. The most important thing was that the current Shang Guan Tian was also wearing a set of bridegroom clothes. He had a prideful look all over his face, and his pleased smile was not a single bit inferior to Shang Guan Ye's. What is happening? Why are there two bridegrooms? Are the brothers both going to marry Su Mei? While facing that strange scene, everyone started their discussions, and all of them felt puzzled. Shang Guan Tian. Shang Guan Ya. What is the meaning of this? Su Hen led the experts from the city lord's residence out. He was also quite displeased while facing the Shang Guan family's actions. My lord, what other reason can us two brothers come here for? Naturally, it is to marry your daughters. Shang Guan Ye chuckled, but as he spoke, he did not even come down the horse. He said those words to Su Hen with an attitude of looking down at him. Tian, people who are in a higher position, such as a general, stay on the horses while the lower position people, such as a soldier, stay on the ground. My lord, without concealing any truths, I, Shang Guan Tian, have already fallen for your daughter, Su Ro. Coincidentally, Today is a date of great happiness as my younger brother, Shang Guanya, is going to marry your youngest daughter, Su Mei. So, why not have a double marriage by also marrying Su Ro off to my Shang Guan family as well? I, Shang Guan Tian, will certainly treat her well. Shang Guan Tian also spoke, 
but he also did not go down the horse to speak. Rubbish. Shang Guanye is marrying my family's lady because it was prearranged. How about you? You did not even come up to propose, yet you directly come here to marry? You are simply marrying by force. One of the old men from the city lord's residence pointed at Shangguan Tian and angrily rebuked. Insolent. I'm talking to the city lord and you have no part in this. Shangguan Tian was furious while facing the rebuke of the old man. He raised the whip in his hand and thrashed over. Hmph, someone merely at the first level of the profound realm should not even dare to act so wildly in front of me. The old man was not afraid in the slightest when facing the whip that had profound power and was like a dragon. He raised his hand and grabbed, then the whip was tightly grasped within his hand. It turned out that the old man was a person at the second level of the profound realm. You disrespectful little brat, get down here. The old man was enraged and he wanted to pull Shangguan Tian down from the horse. Bam, but before he even got to attack, a powerful big hand grabbed his wrist. Strong power instantly restricted the old man's aura and sealed his actions that he was going to do. Milord. The old man looked to the side and he couldn't help but stare blankly because the person who stopped him was his own master, Su Hen. Su Hen first shook his head towards the old man indicating that he should not act rashly, then he took a deep breath and spoke to his subordinates behind him. Go. Bring the second lady and the third lady out. Today, my Su family will have a double marriage with the Shangguan family. Tian, second lady is Su Ro as she was born second, eldest brother is Su Long, and third is Su Mei as she was born third. Hugh. When Su Hen said those words, instantly, the crowd went into an uproar and everyone was endlessly shocked. If the marriage between Shang Wanya and Su Mei was completely expected and was normal, then the marriage between Shang Wan Tian and Su Ro was reasonless trouble. It was something that even normal families would not allow, let alone the city lord's family, the ruler of the Vermilion Bird City. However, at that moment, not only did Su Hen not act wildly, he even agreed. That made people quite speechless. The formerly tyrannical and mighty city lord chose to lower his head to the two young men. That made people feel that it was inconceivable and not understandable even after thinking about it a hundred times. What is happening? The city lord accepted such impolite demands from the Shangguan family? Some people who did not know the entire truth questioned. You probably don't know. I heard that the master of the Shangguan family, Shangguan Yu, is at the sixth level of the profound realm, but the city lord is only at the fifth level of the profound realm. Although the Su family is still the ruler of the Vermilion Bird City, in reality, their strength is inferior to the Shangguan family. I also believe that the marriage advancement for Shangguan Ye and Su Mei is because of Shangguan Yu. Someone secretly leaked the information out. Is that true? After hearing that, everyone's expressions changed greatly and they were unceasingly stunned. It meant that the true ruler of the Vermilion Bird City was not the Su family, but the Shangguan family. That was huge news to the people in the Vermilion Bird City. Although people still felt that the matter was unimaginable, when Su Ro and Su Mei, the daughters of the city lord, wore gorgeous bride gowns and walked out of the residence, everyone knew that the current situation in the Vermilion Bird City truly did change. This is bad. City lord, this is bad. But just at that time, a panicked cry came from nearby. That panicked cry instantly shattered the happy atmosphere and everyone cast their gazes over. They saw a guard from the city lord's residence madly running over to the residence. However, there were wounds everywhere on his body and blood was all over the place. What's going on? What happened? In response, Su Hen and the others quickly went over. City lord, there's, 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 an enemy invading. After that person spoke, he lost consciousness. What? Enemy invading? After hearing those words, Su Hen was thoroughly confused and he couldn't help but cast his gaze over to Shang Guanye and Shang Guan Tian. However, he discovered that they did not know what was happening as well. 
That confused Su Hen. In reality, to his Su family, the biggest enemy was the Shangguan family. But currently, if the Shangguan family was not attacking, which person dared to invade his vermilion bird city? Thud thud thud. Clang clang clang. Thud clang, thud clang, thud clang, thud. Just at that time, from the direction that the guard escaped from, the noise of gongs and drums rang out. Everyone couldn't help but inhale a breath of cool air and at the same time that they were completely baffled, ineffable fear filled their hearts because the beats of the gongs and drums were clearly from a bride's escort.